can receive that and you've got you've you've gotten the message through your body and you've received it it's beautiful um the aliveness at the moment after this Aquarius full moon I'm an Aquarian so it was like it was it was hardcore it was nearly like and that after the lion's gate was just like holy fucking shit what is going on um and sorry to your listeners I might swear a lot too it brings out a bit of passion (laughs) there's there's, um yeah there's this 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 rebirthing that happened last week or, or multiple rebirthings that's just like what the fuck are we doing like you know you think you're there I was there in that in that moment last week running my business supporting our women changing this world and then now there's another level I've got to go to (laughs) it's like it doesn't stop raising the bar the bar just doesn't stop it's it's so good right now the energy is so good oh I love that and I love that um your your Aquarius and your sun is that and how you could really feel that energy because while could I feel that energy? Like I wasn't even expecting this. I was um, walking down the beach and, you know, it was like the sun was just sort of starting to set. And next minute, this freaking huge grandmother golden moon is just like rising from the water. Like just, it was literally miraculous. And there was no one else around. It was just rising up from the water just ever so slowly. And I've got so much Aquarius in my chart as well, babe. Like, my um my moon is Aquarius and there's just so much Aquarius so I was like home yes. I want to go home and and the light from her was like streaming on the water so it felt like you could actually walk oh. home to her <laughs> yes it's so beautiful so yeah I love that that's yeah. that makes a lot of sense then two rebels on this call ladies <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah yeah, yeah. please can you speak into that like with this like rebellious energy because I feel like any astrologer and I know for me like I've gotten readings straight away they're like yep you have so much Aquarius in your chart you've got a lot of rebellion in your chart yeah um can you speak on that like how you've navigated that in your life to what you were doing to like leading you to what you're doing now and like how you sort of got to harness that rebellious nature to do good for yourself and to be yeah impacting the women that you're impacting yeah wow big question massive question um and is so good because you don't I don't think you actually know my major history if I wasn't actually a rebellious as a child I was I was pretty severely bullied as a child and had some some major childhood trauma and I never stuck up for myself I never told anyone what was going on on a daily basis um I never spoke about it until the years afterwards. Um, even late, my late teenage years was when I started sort of talking about it to my mom and speaking into it. And there was always this, this underlying rebellious energy that was within me. And it was like, this feels wrong. This is wrong. That What's going on? But, you know, as a child, you don't know any different. You, you're programmed into the into this matrix pretty quick as a child and it wasn't um wasn't until I was diagnosed with epilepsy at the age of 15 when the neurologist was sitting opposite my mum and I and said the only option we have for you is drugs for the rest of your life and that's all we can offer and instantly in my body, I knew there and then was, I was like, nah, nah, there, there is more. There is so much more that can be done. There is so much more I can do. And, you know, this was the best, is still the best neurologist in, in Australia um, was telling me this. So was like, okay, that started my journey on, okay, I need to do this for myself and take responsibility for myself and my own life. And that was the amplification, I guess, the igniting of my rebellious energy. And that led me on a, a search, a soul, a self-healing journey of over 20 years, just going through modality after modality, healer after healer, trialing and erroring and you know if anyone's into human design that's part of my design as well and it was just you know 
failing at a lot a lot of things finding things that's not working that doesn't work you know antidepressants um even um twice suicidal i was tried 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 that twice um you know just so much so much lessons to learn that had to be learned to get to where i am today um this year 2022 always knew this year was going to be my year i'm born on the second of the second 82 so twos were everywhere for me and then 2022 was just I always knew it was just coming and turning 40 this year was just such a pivotal moment of right now now you mean business Brooke now we've really got to get get the ball rolling and get this get this fire ignited and and I mean, already helping hundreds of women, but now it's like, now you, the thousands, the thousands are there and they're waiting, you know, it's like this world has 8 billion people in it. There's so many people that need support and love and nourishment and this, these natural forms of healing that we, both you and I just adore and is our, is our ritual on a daily basis. So yeah, that's. A long story short, I guess. <laughs> oh, and thank you for sharing it with me and with all of the beautiful women and men that get to receive that because, you know, I think some people can see on the outside of like, you know, where Brookie's made it now and she's like, oh, whoa, like she's killing it. And it's so like um, authentic of you and like delicious of you to just be like, yeah, and this is where you came from, you know, like. I know what it feels like to be bullied as well. And it's of such a isolating place. Oh my gosh. You know, like, yeah, it's such a journey to go from like, I know for me, like going from timid to really going in a shell and like hiding from the world and like, you know, re coming out and having that building that trust muscle of, Oh no, it's safe to be me. And it's, this is a gift. And I love how you've really taken that diagnosis of your gift and uh, a journey and it's almost like a golden thread of like oh here's a golden thread here and I can either go this way and and I can numb and I can go on the drugs yeah, or I can yeah. use this golden thread to be like oh there's some other reason my soul chose this and that's yeah. what I get this feeling with you it's like oh my soul chose this because it's allowed me to you know spend the thousands of dollars outsourcing to these you know peoples that you know are the best like he says and it's like it wasn't working for you mm-hmm. you have now um harnessed like we're both so passionate about these modalities and these somatics and these incredible rituals that we love to embody so that you can be that embodiment of what you're here to be and to feel Mm. good to Mm. feel alive yeah it's so beautiful it's also i just want to make clear as well that that journey that those 20 years of of searching for healers and things that was i I describe that as my years of victimhood as well. Like I was such a fucking victim and was so like, you know, just getting on people's beds or in their rooms, walking into the chiropractor, the Chinese herbalist, you know, all of these people going, fix me, fix me. Here I am, fix me. It was like, I wasn't taking responsibility I wasn't, you know, I might have been going to these people and booking these appointments, but I wasn't taking responsibility myself on my own energetics and my own. And that wasn't until, and I say it was a 20 year journey because it wasn't until the last five years where I did discover this, these somatic work and breath work and all of these really deep, you know, connecting to our soul techniques that really get the get it get it happening so you know I still I don't want to I definitely don't want to promote people to be going out and doing doing what I did for 20 years and that's one of the things I say to our women is you know I'm going to stop you from that 20 year search I did it so you don't have to you know this is where it's at this is the work we get to do and we get to fast track it oh so you know feeling like you have literally you're like saving all these women so much money and time and heartache and it's like they get to invest in you someone that's such an embodiment of this frequency of wealth like when I when I feel into this energetics it's like yeah yeah, the money coming through in the bank's great like yes 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 amazing amazing and it's like you're doing what you love you know you can feel it and you can see it Mm -hmm. that it's like 
that energy that you're moving through, it's really being created and you're really like going out there and taking all the action. And it's so inspiring for me to see women doing that, like yourself, like really like trusting that aliveness and building a beautiful business and bringing those goals through your community spaces so other women can also do the same if they desire to start their own businesses or, you know, run their own events or be more in love with their bodies. And something that I receive when I feel you, Brooke, and when I see you is like this love for your body you know, like your shell. Like I yeah. love that we're speaking about soul and we're speaking about like doing these, these breathwork practices to really unlock the soul. And it's like, you are connected to your soul. And it's like also this shell that houses your soul, the yeah. naked raw body, you know, it's like, what's, what's your journey been like with that? And <laughs> being confident being in your nudity, because it's something I'm so passionate about. I love it. I love the yes. nudity and I love, I just love it. I, it's such a medicine for me to be naked and yeah. not just be a sexual act. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, babe, you are asking the question. These questions are so, so good. So I just, I love the, I love the, the polarity of, of our work and that the majority of people have come from these places where we, you know, people may look at us and think, oh, look at them. They've, they've always been in love with their body. Look at her dance. Look at her do this, you know, for fuck's sake. Like, obviously, with my seizures, I had so much self-loathing, so much body hate. I, I hated my body to its core for years, for those 20 years on that journey. I hated my body for not being able to heal, for not be, for being different to everyone else. I couldn't, I've never had a car license because I can't, couldn't, can't drive, you know, with my seizures. Um, so I was always resenting myself for it, resenting my body for being different. And again, it wasn't until the inner journey that I actually discovered this self-love and, and absolute adoration for my vessel that is holding the magic that if I hadn't have been diagnosed with epilepsy, if I hadn't have gone on that journey, I would not be doing what I'm doing today. And it's it's that polarity that is is the magic in what we get to do. Like it's not, I haven't always been, you know, this whatever, you know, I haven't been sexual. I used to be so, such a prude around, you know, like I start talking about self-pleasuring and masturbation. I used to think that was like so frigging disgusting. Like who goes there? I didn't even know what I looked like down there. I was horrified. Even when I had my boys, I, it, like Barney's 10 now. And I remember after having him, I was like, I couldn't look down there for months. I was just horrified. And it has been in just in the most recent years after having children, I think it was a, was a huge point for me where it's like, are you actually going to live your life or are we going to play a victim for the rest of it? You know, it's, it is like you said before, it's the, that fork in the road and we get to make a choice and yeah, we can a lot choose the victim path, but you can, you can, you can rewire that path very quickly. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that so, so, so deeply. And I love how, um, how honest you are in here. I feel like it's really refreshing for the women who are going to be tuning into this. And also, if you guys are here now, I, I trust that you guys are sending a little magic codes down there for Brooke and myself, and we can check back in there. We can't see the comments. I mean, I can't see them on my end. No. Um, but please share your love and also share what's coming alive for you if you feel drawn. Um, yeah. Because I feel like these conversations can really spark a lot for us women, um, especially, you know, the journey of, I mean, I haven't yet gone on that journey of like holding a human and growing and birthing. A lot of the clients I work with, the woman that I work with, they have been on that journey and it's very common that, you know, the pregnancy journey and going from maiden to mother and birthing mm. a baby out and then, you know, your breasts are like constantly, you feel like you're like constantly milking and it's like there's so much more to the woman than that. It's like that to me is just fucking magic in itself. Like mm. the fact that our bodies are able to take spirit from the unseen, like are you kidding me, and grow inside of our womb and birth out of our pussy and we get to then feed from our breasts. Oh. like what <laughs> how magical is that though like the ladies <laughs> listening goosebumps. like just exactly like we are the life force energy we create life inside of our wombs inside of our bodies like we create 
another one of us. Like that is, that doesn't get more magical than that, you know? And that's where we birth all of our creations, all our dreams, all our visions. And I, my God, I just wrote a post that I haven't this morning before this call around women getting to, and this is what sparked on the weekend. You know, I went to my son's last football game and just saw all of these mums there. It was, was beautiful. But at the same time, I was like, the mum that goes to all the football games and does all the cooking, all the cleaning and devotes her life to her children doesn't love her children any more than the mother who devotes her life to their future and making this world a better place for them. And, oh. yeah, I get, I get judged so much by people who think that I'm not being a good enough mother, that I'm not around my children enough, that, you know, I was, I was divinely blessed with two boys who, you know, who are, love hanging out with their dad and going motorbike riding and, you know, all the boys things so that I can focus on my mission and purpose of making their future and my grandchildren's world a better world. That doesn't make me a, any less of a loving mother than the mother who devotes her life to her children. We oh, need yeah. all kinds of women all kinds of women and there's not just one way to be a woman and women deserve to live their mission and purpose and if your purpose is to change this world then fucking go out there and do it oh full stop <laughs> mic drop <laughs> if, uh, uh, <laughs> we need, need, need to scream after yeah. that yeah <sighs> love that so much and I am so with you there because you're actually not only on your mission the men of the world so your sons and the other men of the world they are going to be um in beautiful hum harmonious relationships when they are in those romantic relationships with the beloved they're going to treat yeah. a woman in a very different way very different way not to say it's going to be different to the mum that's going to the soccer game or whatever but you know, a woman that like yourself, that's completely devoting to your mission, to your body, to your soul, to your heart, to your community. Th mm. That's such a great role model. In mm. my opinion, I believe that is a beautiful role model for them to see like, fuck yeah, mum actually follows her dreams. Yeah. Like she's chasing what she's here to do. And that gives them the permission to also do the same when they start activating their dream and their soul. They're not going to be the people mm. pleaser. They're going to yep. go after what they're here to do and they're going to be an incredible relationship. So I love yep. what you're doing. Yeah, I'm. I'm just so all for <laughs> destabilizing the shoulds in this society. It's so. It's so. So messed up the um, the shoulds of how we should be in this world. Yeah. Yeah. Love it, Brooke. Love it so much. Ooh. So you know, Brookie had you had like a hundred k launch recently and doing this and look at how Brookie is like. What a fucking permission slip is Brooke. You're a mum of two boys. You've got an incredible business partner. You've got the community. Like, it's just, it's such a permission to, yeah. this is authenticity, right? Like, something that's really fucking alive for me at the moment is, like, this thing that we, you know, we obviously speak about being unique and our unique soul and our authentic expression. And I feel like when we stop caring about how we sound and what we're doing and we just fucking do the thing and we swear, we, you know, be all the things, um, that to me is such... A reflection and an example of what that actually is to embody it yeah. and if it's like saying especially with sexuality work like I get this feeling of sexuality it's like I should be more elegant and I should be more um, proper and like I shouldn't swear and like I shouldn't wear my backwards cap and be a bit tomboy and it's like fuck that shit like something yeah. for me that's been really liberating is like you know showing up on a call with my ladies and like having a backwards cap on and being a bit more tomboy sometimes and you know expressing yeah. more of that Aquarius energy that's just so fucking wild and so yeah. like yep today I'm gonna wear a jumpsuit and have a high neck and maybe I might have a bra out and my tits out the next call like yeah you know, it's just so free flow and I just yeah I love that I just love that permission so here for that yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. totally it was is I used to wake up when I was a child wishing I was a boy I was the biggest tomboy like I just wished yeah. I would oh the boys get it all the boys get to have all the fun and you know it's like as wild as we can get and that's that's always living within me it's just 
yeah, it's so good. But now, now I'm, I am the most feminine I've ever been and wearing, you know, wearing skirts and dresses. I never thought, never thought I would be doing what I'm doing now as a child. Like that's the beauty. And that's the, you know, something for so many women to understand that you and I doing the thing, living our dream, it didn't always look this way. You know, it was just that it starts off as that little foundational, I want to help people or I want to, you might have that vision of I want to change the world like I've had, like I just, that knowing, that inner knowing and following that inner knowing and the breadcrumbs along the way is is all it takes. Like, yeah, I had a $100,000 launch, but to get to there was so much so much hard work the the amount of nights I stayed up till midnight and the last few years have been just soldiering on this mission and yes putting putting my kids to the side so I can focus on the world being a better place for their future some people might call it you know whatever you want to call it but the um You know, like, for example, our our focus with Turquoise Bliss, Anna and I have a mission to disrupt the medical system and really put that on its head and get medical trials into breath work, into embodied movement, dance, into all of these somatics and have the medical trials speak the truth. And that's our that's our bigger mission, our bigger goal from coming from two people, Anna's healed herself of cancer, um, which was in her DNA. She was she was on a on a death, literally on her death, death's, you know, death's door from her cancer and healed herself through this work. So we've both been through the medical system and just have, yeah, really want to really have a passion around this. But to get to that goal, get to that hugeness of that goal is is these tiny little breadcrumb ways of building our community helping women understand the empowerment and the strength that women have that women ourselves are the world changers that women used to run the world like thousands of years ago women were the queens of the world you know and and men bowed down to our power not that we want men to bow down to us but we were seen, we were seen, we were seen, they can if they like. We were seen for the power that we are, you know. Yeah. We weren't just stuck in a home to go, you know, you look after the kids and I'll bring the money home, like, you know. Yeah, I fucking love everything you're saying. I'm frothing because, you know, you've shared around Anna, your business partner, and I, I wasn't actually aware of that. So that was something I got to discover today. And for me, I, oh, fuck, like I've, you know, been in psychiatric wards for mental health that I've been diagnosed with mental health is- issues. And it's not even the case. Like when, yeah. I've, when I've dissolved all these fucking labels that I've been boxed in from so many different, you know, peoples. Yes. Like, and all the thousands of dollars that I've spent on therapy and, you know, fucking same thing for you. Going in anywhere I could go. I don't want to, I don't want to do the work. Just please do it for me. <laughs> like that kind of like submissive. Yeah. It's just too hard. Just like do it for me type thing, right? Um, yeah. It wasn't getting to the crux. For me, it was really this like unbecoming. Like it was like, you know, I was saying in my podcast this morning, it was like this um, puzzle. It's like I was a puzzle. It's like I had to like let all the pieces just like uncrumble and unbecome and then slowly through all these like rituals and these like practices, like put the puzzle pieces back so I've got my soul blueprint coming online. Yes. Like, oh, I just had to regulate my nervous system. Oh, so when I was feeling that emotion, that was just an emotion that I needed to feel? (laughs) Like, what? What? <laughs> my whole body is shaking yeah we have we have um two incredible women working with us at the moment and we've helped um quite a few in the past as well who have been in, in psychiatric wards and this is this is one of our passions of getting them to understand there was nothing wrong with with them these yeah awakenings that they were experiencing were their awakenings to their soul's mission like this soul blueprint that you were just speaking of woman like 
You are so magic. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. My, uh, my whole body is alive right now. Like, it's so fucking yeah. alive. And, like, this is the thing, right? Like, this was, you guys, like, if you're tuning yeah. in live right now, it was just this thing, this energy that I could feel of, yep, we need to get on and have a conversation. Like, this is the first time Brooke and I have had, like, a one-on-one -on -one experience. And you can just see how this conversation is just flowing because – it's trusting those breadcrumbs that you're speaking about. It's trusting those yeah. those soul nudges of this is alive, it's here, and there's something here. And I know for me, like, it felt edgy to reach out to you. I was like, oh, what are we going to talk about? Like, where is this <laughs> going to go? And it's like that knowing that when I get that feeling, I know there's something that's wanting to expand and there's like a permission there. There's this like expansion. There's something I'm going to speak about that is an edge for me. And like, even to this date, saying that I was in a psychiatric hospital, there's still this little bit of like, fuck, is someone going to judge me? absolutely as a coach like i'm a coach and i i hate the whole professional bullshit thing like mm. i like to be myself and at, still though I, I still run a business it's successful and i love what i'm doing and i take great care in what i do and pride and i love and i, I care about people so deeply that i'm like are they gonna not are they gonna judge me because of this mm. and it's like they never do because so many women come in because they're like you're the permission you're you know you're giving me the permission for this bpd thing that i was diagnosed with that actually isn't there i just I'm a yes. woman that is so multifaceted that I have all of these different um, expressions that are longing to be met, you know, and this tomboy thing that you spoke about. I remember when I was a girl, I was like standing over the toilet one day like a boy trying to piss like my brother. And mom's like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? I'm like, I want to you just like Craig and just like, well, you don't. <laughs> Like I used to play football with my brother and we'd run yeah. around and I just fucking loved being with the boys because it was easy. I got to run around. I got to be wild. Like I got to, mm. I loved football. I love, I, when dad, um, when I was young, I was like, dad, I want to be in rugby like Craig. This is my brother. And he's like, oh, you know, he was obviously trying to protect. I was daddy's little girl. Um, yeah. Trying to protect me, but I just loved it. I just loved how it was so much aliveness with guys and, and boys, you know, it was yeah. like fun. And yeah, it was just like bringing that, I guess, into sisterhood is what I do now. That's like my genius. It's like, hey, let's not gossip about each other. Let's fucking love on each other yeah. and just be that reflection of like, let's have fun and let's just see other woman as a permission, as a mirror to mm -hmm. if we're activated into something, like what's there for me to look into and feel into? Yeah. So you're just re-sparking all, <laughs> all of this stuff for me too today. Love it. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's so, so good, good, babe. Yeah. It's so good that that permission slip is so huge and that we, we get to, you know, women like yourself and the w women we've worked with can have a completely different perception on their, you know, it's not just because the doctors said it doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's even okay. Like to be locked up and drugged up because of your awakening and your magic is so fucked up on so many levels and that's just it's it is there is no human words for it and it, my passion literally wants to burst out of my throat right now. <laughs> so make a sound make a sound to explode. <laughs> oh. Oh. um i was going somewhere with it that that the women, the women that caused my my wounds as a child, the girls, it was it was oh we've just cut out on my end. you know it wasn't a reflection on you just cut out on my end babe so I just got oh. up yeah there was like a it just cut out for a moment you sorry said, doll no you're right <laughs> I was just like no where have you gone you said there was like um there was some wounds from when you were a little girl and that's when it cut okay yeah yep so yes uh, wounds from when I was a little girl with the um the trauma that I was experiencing was from girls but having the strength and the courage to now work with women and work through those wounds, those sisterhood wounds. And I'm so proud of who I am to actually have gone through that and, and gone through, okay, 
I can I can be who I want to be with women because being around boys that was my comfort zone that was that was uh, that was how I became the tomboy because I saw girls as as you know they hurt you they they bitch about you they they do these things to you so it was just so big to come over that but to now allow other women to heal those wounds and because girls are fucking bitches like we can sit around all day gossiping and bitching about each other like you just said or we can we can really love on each other and see each other and respect the uniqueness that we all are that we're not meant to be like her or we're not meant to be like her or you know fucking kim kardashian bullshit for fuck's sake (laughs) (laughs) i love this conversation And, you know, babe, this is where, like, um, the connection to, this is what I love about connecting to our yonis, our flowers, our yes. pussy, is, like, when we connect to our pussy, mm. she is so fucking delicious. She is so delightful, her colours, her senses, and she's so fucking unique. And it's, like, we realise, like, in nature, it's, like, flowers. This is something that I, I love going by nature, right? I love nature. It's, like... You don't see flowers in nature like comparing and bitching at each other and like you I'm prettier than you and you're this and you're that. It's like every flower just opens up in its own timing yes. and its own yes. glorious way. And it's so unique in the way she opens. And I really feel like this is like when we connect to our yonis and we deeply connect with her, it's like I've noticed for me there's like that comparison dissolves with other women because I deeply know like from my inside out it's like I am me and I'm unique and if that woman's going to say this about me or whatever like that's just something that's coming up within herself and to send her love like that's something that I've really been um Mm. really fucking tested with (laughs) as a woman and yeah it's just such a journey isn't it (laughs) uh it, it is and and that's the thing that's the key it is a journey it is a journey it's an endless journey and we don't get to the end <laughs> like there is no end point it's yeah. it's doing this work on the daily and acknowledging that and and growing every single day I'm not who I was yesterday like there's just so much so much growth and especially right now on the planet right now in this abundance we get to sit in like how blessed are we to be alive in 2022 like it just oh <laughs> wasn't too keen on it last week but you know <laughs> this, this week I, I can see I can see it again uh yeah Whew, holy yeah. cow yeah, and I love that because, like, I'm in my summer season right now. Like, I'm ovulating. So whenever I'm ovulating, I'm like, fucking life, just give it, like, you know, yes. it's, like, it's like those challenges that would normally be a lot more challenging through my winter phase. It's like, I'm I fucking, like, I don't even, you're not even affecting me. Like, whatever this thing is, right? Yeah. Um, I feel like as women, we are just so, so connected to nature and we really are moving through these seasons and to just honour those seasons because, we're going to be fucking different. Like you said, every day, every week, every month, every year. And it's so perfect. So yeah, I feel so complete, babe. Like, yeah, I, I do too, honey. Yeah. Beautiful. 1141. It's beautiful. So yes. good. And I recorded this too. I just thought I'm going to hit record button. Cause who knows like what we do if we want to yeah. somewhere else or yeah, spread it, just... share it love on these love on as many women as we can and that's that's the goal in the end when it comes to it oh babe I'm just so just adore you and and to be doing this at your at 30 like you know like I said I I didn't get to this till it was my mid you know 30s getting to that stage and just adore the younger women in this world that are at these levels you know way before I could have even imagined and just in awe of you babe just thank you thank you thank you because you know the old the old ones like me (laughs) we draw in the elders and but getting that younger generation into this and out of the patterns that we all went through you know the the normal patterns of drinking and poisoning our bodies and the self-sabotage and you know, that's, yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, I've, I've even had some ladies that are um, 40 plus as well, like that I've worked with, because I think 
we can know yes. from you and like you can learn from me and it's just like I feel like when we come from this we we yeah. really begin to see that our daughters can teach us you know um like for me like I love learning from my nanas like I just learned so much from them and I learned so much from my mother and just that in itself like really following the golden thread through my feminine bloodline it's like that's really opened me up as well like absolutely so beautifully so yeah thank you my love I'm fully receiving that and I just think whatever timeline this this comes to us and we feel that is fucking perfect yeah it's just so perfect and it's like any woman that's here right now and there's just like this maybe something's been activated for you today like honor that like honor that reach out to Brookie reach out to myself like reach out and yeah and and follow that aliveness follow it listen to it and it might look like reaching out to us it might look like commenting below it might look like going off and creating something because we've sparked something within you today or you want to go naked dance like whatever has been sparked to you like honor that and yeah use this fire that's here right now and take some action babes yes (laughs) yes oh I'm going to go put stick for ladies, stick your favorite song on and just dance this out, you know, dance it out and get it, this energy out of your system and align to that. Oh, aliveness. I think I'm going to go dance too after this. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you, sweetheart. Time. Love you, sister. Love you, love, love you. you. Bye. Bye.